Hey everybody, welcome to the last question in this week's update. So which of the following is closest to the area of the figure shown below? One minute, 30 seconds, and go. So pause that video, and here we go. So whenever we have shapes that are not easily recognizable in terms of a formula for the area, what we wanna do is split it up into two more easily recognizable areas. So watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a nice little faint line from there up here. And notice how this instantly turns into a rectangle and a triangle. So with that said, hey, let's do this. So, well, first off, the problem is, you know, we're gonna do the area of the rectangle and we're gonna add it to the area of the triangle. But the issue is for the rectangle is, I have the length, but I don't have the width. I don't have that yet. So, okay, let's see if we can work on the triangle first then to see if we can get the area of that. Well, if this whole thing is eight and this part is four, then the remaining part must be four. All right, the remaining part is four. Now, well, in this case, well, hmm, I have the base, I guess, but I don't have the height of the triangle. So how do I find the height? And that's where the challenge part comes in. This is a Pythagorean theorem question because we have the hypotenuse being five and one of the legs being four. So let's go ahead and find what the other leg is. So to do that, remember it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So that side squared, I'm just gonna say l squared plus four squared equals five squared. Let's do some math. 16, 25, let's subtract 16. And so if I take the square root of both sides, we're gonna have L equals three. Okay, so what that means is this right there is three. Ah, so this saves my life already because I can now take the area of the rectangle, three times four, that's 12. And then the triangle, it'll be four times three, so the base times the height. But remember, the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So that'll be one half of three times four. Three times four is 12, half of that is six. So there it is, boom. We are all good. 12 plus six gives us do, 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 18. And there we go. There's our answer choice and we are all set.